Hey guys, welcome back. So recently, 8BitDo released a Famicom uh, Ultimate Controller and a Mysterious Box. Uh, I ordered both, uh, but I believe today I am only going to be unboxing the Ultimate Controller because uh, the Mysterious Box shipped from Hong Kong and just cleared customs yesterday. Uh, so hopefully I will get that soon, but I do not have it yet. Um, I've seen one other person unbox this controller, and it looks like mine arrived similarly, that they just wrapped it in the original box uh, with just a shipping sleeve, basically. Um, so for a limited edition item, kind of a bummer, because I'm expecting this box, based on some rips and stuff, is probably damaged. And so, uh, kind of stinks, especially for what was like a $90 controller. Um, but let's, uh, let's carefully open it up and take a look. Doesn't even look like I need a knife or anything because looks like it is already started for me. So not quite as beat up as I thought it would be. Definitely some rough edges. Uh, definitely some damage up top. A little rip there. This is the player one model. Yeah, so let's keep opening it up. Looks like there is some plastic tabs on the side. out of the way so uh, got a little certificate a limited edition total 1983 which I believe is the year that a uh, Famicom came out um, kind of interesting that they didn't number them I know that would take them some work looks like my keychain is a little was loose uh, 8 bit FC40. Everything old is new again. FC 40th anniversary. Says it on both sides. In memory of FC since July 15th, 1983 on the other side. Assuming that's the release date for the Famicom in Japan. So we got some pins. FC 40, 1983, and 2023. Put this back in here the way it was supposed to be in the first place. So this comes with a case on this one, which is kind of cool. Get all this stuff out of the way real fast. Looks like it's just your standard 8-bit ultimate wired or ultimate Bluetooth controller uh, manual. Doesn't look like it's anything special, just standard. 
got a red 8-bit dough branded USB-C cable. Just cool to match. So one thing cool about this case is that it does have a charging port here. So you can literally charge it while it's protected in here uh, right through the case itself, which is pretty cool because if you're trying to protect the controller from dust and whatnot, uh, then you can even charge it without leaving it out. So here is the controller, very shiny. And see that for the plastic part on the back, it's even protected uh, for where that USB port is. So that's kind of cool. It's very solid. Really nice controller case. Got a pr little protection foam so that then it scratch so when it scratched the controller and shipping as it shipped on on the dock itself. Again, a bit though. Famicom 40th anniversary. Nothing on the back, just USB C. And then we have our red cover back here. And our wireless dongle is right here. Slides out. So you can believe you actually, this is my first ultimate controller. I believe you can actually uh, leave this in the dock, plug it in here, or even just leave it in the dock, I think, and uh, and connect it wired or, or whatever. Um, yeah, but I think, does this say? I'm assuming this is a second uh, gen one, but it doesn't say. Put that back in there. They have released two wireless uh, dongles. Uh, one was updated. And so. Take the little cover off. Doesn't look like there's any other plastic on here. Very nice. Uh, kind of a grippy. Kind of reminds me of the 360. Or not the 360, but the Xbox Series X and S controllers. as kind of grippy on the back. Uh, and down the sides. I don't know if that shows. But there's gloss on the front, but there's like a grippy matte plastic on the back bottom part. And then just matte at the top. We got our two back buttons. And we got our switch, so we can switch between uh, 2.4 Bluetooth. So these, I believe, are special analog sticks. Uh, they're actually metal. So they do feel a little bit heavier. Uh, I actually really like it. This does have the Nintendo layout, which isn't surprising as it is a uh, Famicom controller, but we've got the ABXY. Uh, so that is different than your Xbox layout. And so uh, if that is an issue for you, um, I believe I saw somewhere that they might be selling buttons so that you can pop this open and actually swap those out if you wanted to do an Xbox um, layout. Uh, this is compatible with the Ultimate software so you can program and stuff through 
all the software and everything. It's really smooth pressing the buttons in. Pretty quiet operation. Usually those are spring operated, I think. And uh, very quiet and smooth. Very nice. I mean, it's very premium feeling. D-pad uh, it's pretty nice. It definitely takes a bit of uh, pressure to push down the D-pad. We got our one here. And we got USB-C on top along with our sync button. Again, got your L and R and R2 and L2. So you basically got your got six triggers and your four face buttons. Got your minus and start and your star button. So everything around this kind of set up more like a like a switch or Nintendo controller. So very nice. I only got the player one. There is a player two version, which the only difference is it's got the Roman numeral two on it instead of one, and that was because the original Famicom had two wired controllers, and one literally was a designated player one controller, and one was designated player two. Um, it's definitely with the shiny finish, is going to probably attract some fingerprints. Uh, don't know if it will scratch or not, but definitely very, very premium filling controller. Uh, it's very nice. Um, if you're not interested in in the uh, Famicom version, they know they had a ten dollar cheaper version, special ed or limited edition, um, that had different art on it. And then I think the standard Ultimate controller is ten dollars cheaper than even that one. So. You could have saved twenty dollars if you didn't care, but this does have a few upgrades with, you know, with the joysticks, and uh, it is cool to have a controller with a Nintendo layout uh, if you're going to use this for Switch or something else. So, uh, or even for Super NES games, maybe, uh, maybe I'll try that later on, uh, like my Super NT or maybe even my uh, Analog Pocket. So, uh, I'm going to jump over real fast and see if this needs a firmware update. All right, so it looks like this comes with firmware 1.03 on it. Uh, and looks like 1.05 is available. Um, so 8BitDo has a firmware updater. Uh, if you have 8BitDo controllers, I definitely recommend you... Uh, check out and uh, download the firmware updater and make sure that you have the newest update on your controllers because it can make a pretty big difference with compatibility and different things. Uh, I even one time had a controller that like would not connect to my Switch at all and uh, I literally just upgraded the firmware. I think I might have even installed the same one over the top and completely fixed it. I thought I was gonna have to like RMA the controller or something and it was just a matter of uh, upgrading the firmware. So uh, if you have the firmware updater, you literally just plug it in, it auto detects what controller you have uh, and like pops it up if it needs one or shows that it's up to date. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit update and then it updates all on its own. So you can see it fixed some sensitivity issues, optimized calibration for joysticks, an 8-bit dough ultimate software error issue fixed, fixed a profile LED display issue when a macro is enabled, and fixed the joysticks and trigger input issue when macro is enabled. So we can hit update complete, and this is what it would look like if your controller was already up to date. 
and we can see 8-BitDo BT version 1.05. And so it is now Classic Miami Dolphins with Dan Marino. Do a couple plays here. Even let me use the analog stick to control. Yeah, Irving Fryer. Dan Marino never looked so buff. Alright, so that should just about conclude this video. Um, do you like using 8-BitDo controllers with your analog products or Nintendo Switch or whatever? Uh, or do you prefer using the actual official controllers? Um, if you'd like me to try this controller uh, on any other console or PC or anything, let me know in the comments. And uh, let me know what you think of, of this limited edition colorway. And uh, if you think it's worth it, uh, or if you just prefer basic, you know, just standard run of the mill, or whatever it is, um, just drop a comment, let me know, and I will see you in the next video, which will hopefully be a unboxing of my uh, 70-some dollar mysterious box from a. Bitto once it arrives. So I will see you next time.